Hey everybody, David here, and today I want to talk about some uh, news that broke out yesterday. Uh, it's rumors, so don't take it with a grain of salt, if you will. Uh, it looks like the MCU is looking at Shia LaBeouf to play uh, Iceman uh, for their possible X-Men reboot uh, that we know is going to come eventually. And I want to say, look, Shia LaBeouf... LaBeouf is a great actor. Um, there's no doubt about it. And you can't judge him from... His, well, I guess you could judge him from his Transformers and his Indiana Jones and the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull uh, role. But if you've seen him outside of the MCU, I think he has proven that he is a really capable actor that, that can pull it off when he really wants to. Um, that's not saying that he shouldn't be pulling it off in the big blockbusters as well, but it seems like the big blockbusters don't really give him, uh, the right material for him to play with. I thought he was really good in the first Transformers movie, but then afterwards he became a little annoying when he started yelling more often. Um, I feel that Indiana Jones and the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull, uh, the direction was to try to be cool instead of actually being cool. Um... <laughs> Uh, but uh, look, Iceman, speaking of cool, uh, Iceman, you know, this could be a, a possible good role for him to play. And I'm going to tell you why. It seems like every actor that has had not such a great track record in blockbusters has had a better, has had a better, um, a, a redeeming aspect to their blockbuster career. Uh, when it comes to the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Uh, case in point, Chris Evans, who was in the old Fantastic Four movies, which I actually enjoyed those Fantastic Four movies, and I think most people agree that he was great in them. Just they weren't great movies for a lot of people. Uh, obviously, Captain America, the franchise, uh, he has redeemed himself to many fans in that in their eyes who didn't think he was all that great before now think he's the perfect Captain America, right? And then you have Michael B. Jordan, similar situation, right? Was in the reboot Fantastic Four and then got into the Marvel Cinematic Universe with Black Panther. So, although his career was already redeemed once he did, I think, Creed. Uh, <laughs> and if anybody has seen him in his other films knows that Michael B. Jordan was already a rising star. Just once he got into the blockbuster game, such as Fantastic Four, maybe not looking so great. Uh, but then, yeah, Black Panther. And uh, th there's probably a couple of other names I could throw out there, but th those are the two that quickly come to my mind. And I look at this as a similar situation where, okay, yeah, he did the Transformers films, he did um, Indiana Jones, but look, the Marvel Cinematic Universe, so far for most people, have had uh, a really great track record. Uh, and, and especially when it comes to casting, I think most of the cast in all of the films have been really uh, nicely casted. Um, so now it makes me wonder, where is Iceman going to end up? Because they're saying it could be for the potential X-Men reboot. But some sources are just saying he's going to be the MCU's Iceman. It's interesting that they're casting Iceman first out of all the X-Men characters. Like, why Iceman first? Why not Professor Xavier or Wolverine? Is Iceman going to be the main focus of, of these X-Men films going forward? I think that's an odd choice unless... Hear me out. What if the introduction of Iceman is not in in an X-Men movie, what if it's in a Spider-Man movie? Because we know that film is starting to get casting going, and maybe to not spoil anything, that, uh, hey guys, look, don't look over here, don't look at the Spider-Man area, look, look over there, an X-Men is coming, what if Iceman shows up in a Spider-Man film? I'm just saying, I mean, there is a, a popular cartoon back in the 80s or something called Spider-Man and His Amazing Friends where Spider-Man teamed up with two other heroes and one of them was Iceman. Uh, that This could be their way of kind of acknowledging that old cartoon, uh, but with a modern 
movie, of course. Uh, I think it would be cool to see the first X-Men pop up in a Spider-Man movie. I mean, why not? I would have preferred Wolverine. I really want to see that Wolverine-Spider-Man team up before... Before Spider-Man's time is done in the MCU, we know it's going to happen eventually, but uh, we, we need to have that little team up. Uh, I'm sad that it won't be Hugh Jackman, but whatever. We need Wolverine and Spider-Man teaming up for at least once in, in the movie, this movie timeline. So I think this is really exciting news. And Shia LaBeouf, or Boof, or whatever you want to call him, uh, he's a great actor. I don't mean to insult him. He, he is a really good actor. So I, I'm looking forward to seeing if they actually do lock him down. Right now it's just rumors that either Marvel... I'm reading some sites saying they're eyeing him uh, to play the role, or they're in negotiations with him. We don't know yet. But hopefully, you know, I wouldn't be mad if it comes true. I think he would be a better Cyclops than he would... Iceman, but then again, I don't know what their take on Iceman is going to be. Maybe this is going to be a completely different take than the Sean Ashmore uh, version from the X Men movies that we know. So they they clearly want this to feel different, and you know, make maybe making Iceman a central piece is not a bad idea. So we'll see. Uh, with that being said, I hope you guys like this video. Please subscribe to my channel and tell me your thoughts on Shia LaBeouf playing. Uh, Iceman, aka Bobby Drake. Do you want to see this happen, or do you think there's better choices out there? Do you think Shia LaBeouf is a maybe a better choice for another X Men character like I do? Uh, comment below and tell me your thoughts. And with that being said, I hope you guys like this video. Please subscribe to my channel, and until next time, take care.